This is question 17. Here we're given, uh, or here we're told that there is a Coast Guard station at point A and at point B, and we're told that B is due east of A. We're then told that the distance from A to B is 12. We're told that there is a rowing boat, uh, there is a rowing boat at point R, so there, and R is on a bearing of 160 from A, we're given that angle there, and 220 from B, that angle there. We're then told there is a speedboat at point T, just there, and we're told that T is five kilometers due south of A. We're asked to work out the shortest distance from T to R. So let's draw that in, the distance from T to R. And what I can see here is that this is going to be a trigonometry question with non-right angle triangles. So <clears throat> first of all, let's figure out some information that I can write down. Um, so the first thing that I could recognize here is that um, this angle, TAR, that that angle there is going to be 20 degrees. Because we're told that T is due south of A, and we know that this angle here is 160, that means that that angle there has to be 20 because it's on a straight line. So we know that that angle there is 20. Now, if I look at this triangle, TAR, what I would need is one more piece of information, either a length or an angle, and then I would either be able to use the cosine rule or the sine rule. Now, what I can see is that it's very difficult for me to find any other piece of information here. I don't know what the bearing from T to R is. I don't know what the angle TRA is. And I don't know what this length is, A to R. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find out a way in which I can figure out another piece of information. And if I look at what I've got here, so I've got another triangle attached to this triangle, TAR. And if I look at this, what I can see is actually I've got quite a bit of information about this triangle, even though it's not labelled on there at the moment. The first thing that I can say is that I can, because I know that A and B, uh, that B is due east from A, well, I can say that between the angle between north A and B, that that's going to be 90 degrees, which means that this angle in the triangle here, if the whole angle is 160, that means that that angle there has to be 70. Then this angle here, if I know, again, that if I were to go all the way around from north, all the way around to that line AB, that that is going to be 270. I've got an angle here that goes around to 220, so that angle there has to be 50 degrees. Then, because I know that this angle here is 70 and that angle there is 50, I can then say that this angle here must be 60 degrees because the angle's in a triangle, sum to 180. Now what I can see is that I've got a length 12 kilometers and I've also got an, the angle which is opposite that. So what I can now use is I can use the sine rule and I can say that 12, so the sine rule, uh, if we want to write it out, A over sine A will be equal to B over sine B. So what I can say is that I've got 12, my length, over sine 60, and that that is equal to this length AR, which I'm just going to call X, over sine 50. Now, so what I'm doing here, so why I've set this up is so that if I use this triangle and I, I use the sine rule on this triangle, that will allow me to find an extra piece of information about this triangle ATR, which will in turn allow me to find the length TR.
So if I find this length AR, the one that I've labelled X, I've then got 5 kilometres, 20 degrees, and that length to use to find TR. So I've set up an equation for the sine rule. Let's now solve this. So this is going to give me X is going to be equal to um, sine 50 multiplied by multiplied by 12 over sine 60. Okay, so let's work that out. This is going to give me uh, sine 50 multiplied by 12 over sine 60. And this gives me an answer of about, 10, we'll call that 10.6, but we'll leave that number in our calculator for now. So 10.6 to one decimal place, but we're going to leave that answer in our calculator because we're going to be using it later. So now what's left for me to do, and I'm just going to draw out this triangle so it's a bit bigger so we can see it clearly. Now what I've got is I've got a triangle that looks a bit like this. I've got an angle here which is 20 degrees. So the angle at the top is 20. Then I know that this length here is 5. And I know that this length here is 10.6. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find this length just there. So what I can see is that I've got two lengths, the length of 5 and a length of 10.6, which are trapping the angle 20 degrees. And when I see this situation, I should immediately see that I can use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And when using the cosine rule, the angle that I label with the capital A is always the one that I've got or the one that I'm trying to find. So if I label that A, I'm going to label the opposite side lowercase a. And then it doesn't matter too much on the other two. So I can label this angle here as capital B, which means that that length will be lowercase b. And this point here is capital C, and that is lowercase c. So what that means is that I'm going to say that this length squared, so x squared, is going to be equal to b squared, which is 10.6. That's the answer in my calculator. Plus c squared, which is 5, so plus 5 squared. Minus 2 times by b, which is 10.6. So 2 times 10.6 times by 5 multiplied by the cos of the angle that I've been given, which is 20 degrees. Okay, so what that gives me, and if I work this out now, this is going to give me uh, 10.6, uh, actually rather than saying 10.6, I'm going to write, because I just had my answer in there already, I'm going to say that this is the answer that I just had, squared plus 5 squared minus 2 multiplied by my answer, 10.6, multiplied by 5, um, multiplied by the cos of the angle 20. OK, and so what that gives me, it tells me that x squared is equal to 37.9. So x squared equals 37.9. And then how am I then going to figure out what that ang what that length x is, that length x? Well, if x squared is 37.9, all I'm going to have to do is square root it. And that gives me an answer of 6.15. I'm asked to give my answer correct to one decimal place, and so that is going to be 
two centimeters. So this distance, and again, that's just a sketch of, of the diagram. I wouldn't have had the space otherwise. The length, uh, the distance between T and R is going to be 6.2 and it's uh, kilometers, isn't it? So 6.2 kilometers. So final answer, 6.2.